Joining me now, Jason Chaffetz, former chairman of the House Oversight Committee and a Fox News contributor. Um, good to see you tonight, uh, Jason. Uh, so so why, Thanks, is, why is Brennan surprised? Why is he concerned here about Bill Barr's investigation, which has been very transparent and, and, and forthcoming in terms of what the goals of, of, of seeking it out is? Yeah, once upon a time, the Democrats were deeply concerned about overseas influence. And as the Trump administration, not under Senator uh, uh, A.G. Sessions, but under A.G. Uh, Barr, have been able to uncover, there is a lot of evidence, more than smoking, uh, you know, smoking guns. There's actual evidence out there. This is Attorney General Barr doing his job. It's President Trump doing his job to get to the, to the bottom of this. Up all of a sudden, then pops up the Hunter Biden stuff along the way. But Brennan in particular has been, you know, implicated uh, indirectly. That is the subject of a lot of this investigation and that as the director of the CIA and potentially Clapper at the, at the head of the, the director of national intelligence were openly involved and engaged. And if you're going to get to the bottom of the FISA abuse, you have to understand what those two gentlemen were doing or not doing. And Barr has to pursue those facts. You know, I mean, it's no secret that, that John Brennan despises uh, President Trump. And I, and I think that's a very fair word, you know, just given his own statements on this. Um, yeah. Here is a tweet that he sent out a while back. He says, whenever you send out such an in tweets, I take great solace in knowing how, that you realize how much trouble you are in and how impossible it will be for you to escape American justice. Mostly, I'm relieved that you will never have the opportunity to run for public office, he said. And then let's go to the um, March 25th. Fifth, quick shot from from John Brennan. Where uh, this is after Robert Mueller comes out and says we found no connection between the Trump campaign um, and any foreign influence from foreign governments. Here's what he said. Well, I don't know if I received bad information, but I think I suspected that there was more than there actually was. I, I mean that that I, I think that was a, a, a very significant moment. Um, and, and now he is still throwing shade over this Bill Barr investigation in terms of trying to find out the other side of the equation, which was never looked into by the Mueller folks for two years. I think Brennan and Clapper have both shown their political bias. Uh, I think they're they're frightened to death that the uh, you, uh, Michael Horowitz report is on the verge of coming out, that Mr. Durham has been on their tail, that the truth is going to be exposed. These are all people that fr thought for sure that Hillary Clinton was going to be the next president. It would have all been covered up. It would have been, uh, you know, people like me when I was the chairman of the Oversight Committee would never be able to see it. But here comes Donald Trump and gets an attorney general who is doing his job and to actually get on a plane, go to Italy, go see it for himself is exactly what I want in an attorney general. Barr is doing the right thing. I mean, in terms of, you know, Mifsud and Alexander Downer, I mean, these are that's Australia. And that was also um, a meeting that happened in Italy and London. You know, these are the people that there are concerns. Were they sort of sent out there to kind of plumb the, the vulnerable folks who had just joined the Trump campaign and say, I've got some really great information for you. The question is, who sent them out? Right. Yeah. Where did the money flow? We know that the DNC and the, the Hillary Clinton campaign, the Democratic National Committee, uh, the Hillary Clinton campaign, they had supposedly millions of dollars flowing overseas, yeah. something this Democrats say is so bad, but they were doing it uh, to try to dig up dirt. And the genesis of this bogus report that was put together, the dossier to form the FISA abuse to spy on a presidential campaign. Well, I mean, that's, that's what, I mean, exactly that, that, what yeah. Donald Trump said he was going to do is get to the bottom of it. Well, that's what we need to know. Um, and we'll see. You know, we'll see what's in the IG report. We'll yeah. see what's in the bar investigation when it all comes out. Um, and we'll see, you know, who's right in the end. Uh, good to see you tonight. Jason Chapis. thank you very Thanks, much, Mark. sir.